When the new S-Class hits the market, there will be six-cylinder petrol and diesel engines available. With a petrol, you can choose between 367 or 435 horsepower. For the diesels, you will have 286 or 330 horsepower. A bit later, there will be an eight-cylinder petrol engine available as well. That then delivers 503 horsepower. And if you want to drive a bit electric, uh, 2021, there will be a, a plug-in hybrid available. That then should drive up to 100 km purely electric. Of course, all of the S-Class models will have an automatic gearbox as standard, and some of them will be available either as an optional or as a standard feature with a formatic all-wheel drive as well. The amount of space the S-Class offers here at the front seats is yeah, more than sufficient, even for a tall person like me with nearly two meters. On top of this, the seats are so comfortable and they do offer loads and loads of support as well. How much space there is behind me, we're going to find out while having a short stop. This here is definitely the place to be if you sit on the rear seat in a Mercedes S-Class long version. So you can see the passenger seat is from the very front and that gives me more than enough space. And there are two things I really do like a lot with the new S-Class. One thing is you will not only find a big touch monitor for each of the passengers, you will also find a tablet inside of the car, which you can take away. So with you when you leave the car. The new S-Class is now 1,95m in width, and with that, 55mm wider than its predecessor. And when you look at the front, the pro most prominent thing is for sure the big grille. And on top of this, you do find the air intakes down here and at the side, and a quite sharp and crisp front bumper, and that gives the car extra width. On top of that, the car, of course, features completely new headlamps, always in LED technology. But if you want, you can order the so-called digital light system. That not only includes three very bright LED systems per lamp, it also includes a lot more functions. The light of each headlamp consists of 1.3 million pixels and so enables extremely precise light distribution. And the so-called topographic light takes hilly roads into account. When driving over a hilltop, the headlights do not shine into the sky. They will be swiped down onto the road. As soon as the legal base has been created, the S-Class will drive completely autonomously on suitable motorways up to a speed of 60 km per hour. And for the first time, the driver will be allowed to focus on other things and hand over the responsibility to the car. This step is planned for the second half of 2021. As the predecessor, you can order the new S-Class in two different lengths. And the new short version is now 5 meters 18, which makes it 54 mil longer than its predecessor. The longer version is the one you see here. That's now 5 meters 29, and that makes it 34 mil longer than the predecessor version. And when you talk about the height of the car, that's very similar to the predecessors, only one centimeter more, because the car now is 1 meter 50 high. Hey Mercedes, I'm cold. I'm increasing the temperature to 19 degrees. Hey Mercedes, open the sunroof blind. I'm opening the roller sun blind on the sliding sunroof. Hey Mercedes, where can I get a coffee? Here is what I found. Where do you want to go? Hey Mercedes, give me a massage. I'm switching on the massage for you. 
Hey Mercedes, set a destination. What is your destination? Castleton, Whitby. Here is what I found. Where do you want to go? Number one. Let's go. Please proceed to the highlight.
Now turn sharp left. 